This is the grade 7 math practice test for T and ready. Question number 11 on this version. The angles shown are supplementary. So that's the key here. They just want you to know essentially what supplementary means. Well, supplementary angles, sometimes referred to as a linear pair, actually work together to create a straight line. As you can see, they're doing that here. Now, generally speaking, we think that a line that goes from here to here we base it off of the geometry of the sun and all the rest, we'll say this is 180 degrees. The supplementary angle part means we need to add the values together. So we have this and this, so 3x plus 15 degrees plus 60 equals 180. The only thing to worry about here, and we're just going to follow normal procedures for solving an equation, not a big deal. But the big thing to think about is what question are they actually asking? Now, in this case, they want to know the value of x, but they may not ask that question. They may want to know what the value of this entire angle is, which would mean you'd find the value for x and then substitute it back in 3 times whatever plus 15. They're not doing that here. Just be aware that it's just one of those things that happens a lot in, as you move up in types of tests of this nature. Anyways, we don't have to worry about that now, so let's just do a little bit of addition because our first step is, of course, combining like terms on this side. There's no parentheses, so we're ready to just get everything clean. I want everything on the left side combining my like terms, everything on the right side combined, which is easy to do when there's only one thing there. So 60 plus 15, and I may even, in the old days, I would put a line under my x's, and then I would actually put little tense over the constant terms. You probably don't need to do that now, but you might one day. Depends on how complicated they get. So now I'm ready to get x by itself. I'm going to look at the variable and find the number value. In this case, it's the constant term. That's the furthest away, but on the same side of the line. The 3 is right next to it. It's a multiplication relationship. We'll just leave that alone for now. So instead, we'll get rid of plus 75, and to eliminate addition, we'll use the opposite operation, which is, of course, subtraction. This is a calculator allowed section. Now, do I think that you should lean on calculators for everything? Of course not. But I also don't think that you should be afraid to use them if you need to use them for to get make sure that you get something correct. Especially when you get into T and Ready, sometimes you'll get in a hurry or whatever and you'll make little careless mistakes that'll cost you a lot of points. Don't throw away points. The whole point of the test is just to defeat it so that you can let the people in Nashville who make these ridiculous things not like feel like they didn't win this round. So I'll just go ahead and do this. And it's gonna end up giving me 105, but still. I'm left with this. So now I'm ready to eliminate this, because if I have 75 and I take 75 away, there's nothing there. Bring down your 3x. Uh-oh. Pen's leaking. That's what it looks like when a digital pen leaks. 3x, and then this is 105. Now, the, the only relationship that's keeping the variable from being by itself is times 3, because if they're touching, they're multiplying. So I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. I'm going to do this terrible thing to do on a video, which is bring it over here. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so you end up with 1x. And then 105 divided by 3, 35. Again, don't trust my judgment. Thirty-five. So I'm going to look for my answer, and there it is. Can you test your answer? Of course you can test your answer. All you have to do is go back to your original equation here, substitute in that value. So I will do 3 times 35 plus 15 plus 60, and it should 
equal 180. So let's just test that out. And spoiler alert, I'm not going to test it out in my head. Erase that a bit. So I'll do three times. I want to do it in parentheses. What's wrong with me? It's like my first day of math. So it checks out. So I'm good there. My answer to number 11 is C. Right there. Just as an aside, you may want to go ahead and write the letter C there, just so when you get to the point that you're trying to bring it over to the answer sheet, you don't make a mistake and then ruin everything. I did that all the time when I was a kid, and it drove me crazy. So now that you're a young adult, it's time for you to not make the same mistakes I made and uh, do better. That's it.